All right, so we're starting over here. Frequency. Frequency is the number of times a value occurs in our data, or it says in a distribution. Uh, with categor with categorical data, the number of units that fall into that specific category. So for example, they're going to list the, the, our x values on the bottom, and say we have a bunch of numbers here, 5 through 27. And at number 8, it's three dots high. That means the frequency of getting an 8 is 3. It's however many we have. When it talks about that max and minimum, the maximum is the number farthest to the right that we have data for. So like I said, if the, if the highest number was 27, that would be the maximum. If our lowest number was 5, that would be the minimum. Okay. The range is the difference between those two numbers. So if we, once again, said we're going from 5 to 27, the range would be 27 minus 5 is 22 units in between them. That's what range stands for. That makes sense. Okay. Um, a distribution. These are pictures of three different distributions. It's putting your data on a chart in, a, um, in either a stem lead plot or a dot plot. Okay. Uh, the three shapes we tend to get are up here. The one in the middle is called the normal distribution. Um, maybe a couple outliers in each end with the majority of the data right in the middle. But sometimes we get the data to push right or left. We call this skews right, the one over here. The one over here we call skews left. It's just kind of moving that bump one way or the other. Okay. Now the mode is the number that appears most often. So like if I had... Uh, one five, three eights, uh, four tens, and then seven twelves. The twelve, because then the most of anything is the mode. Right? It is possible to have more than one. Make sure we have our earbuds out, guys. Got to appreciate that. All right. Now, our two measures of central tendency are the mean and the median. Okay? They sound similar. They both start off ME. The mean is the average of the numbers. So we add up all of our data and divide by the numbers, the number of numbers we added together. Yeah, you've done that before. The median is the number that's in the middle. The mean and the median don't necessarily have to be the same. Okay? Um, middle number as opposed to average is, can be completely different. Um, these are two measures of central tendency. Um, and depending on the data, one might be better than the other. Typically, there's not a set thing, but median is usually a little better sometimes. I don't know if better is the right word. All right, now for the actual use of problems. All right, we talked about the mean a minute ago. What well, this formula right here is saying to find the average, we add up all the numbers and divide by the number of numbers. So where it says x of n, if I get that any. If we had 20 numbers, this would be x20 here. We have all 20 numbers and then divide by 20. Worry out. Okay. Um, I would not worry about this. This is summation notation. We did a little bit of that uh, back in trimester 2.2. Not a huge deal. All right. As far as the median goes, in order to use the median, we have to arrange the numbers from smallest to largest. Um, and then we try and find the middle numbers. If we have an odd number of numbers in our data. The median is really easy to find. It's the middle one. But if we have two, if we have even number of numbers, say we have ten pieces of data, we have to do a little bit of work to, to find the average of the two middle numbers. We'll, it'll make a lot more sense when we start going through this. Okay, so that's kind of the vocab part of this. Now we're going to put an actual use. Okay. Um, I'm going to slide these up. And this is where you guys are going to start taking some notes in here, if you haven't already. Okay. We're going to find the mean of data A. Okay. Now, A has how many numbers inside of it? Five numbers. Okay. So to find the average, what am I going to do to find the average? Add them all up and divide by five. So go ahead and do that right now. 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5, and we'll divide by 5. I'll right, give you guys about a minute to do that. I don't. I had one in about six months ago, so we stole it from me. Let me have a charger that Alex could use. Yeah. Oh, that keeps so nice.
This is 1.2 a. a. Yep. Are you on the? You're on the assignment, not the notes. Oh. Make sure you guys are on the notes. It's gonna go notes, uh, then the assignment after that. All right, so if I add them all up, what am I getting? 15. Getting 15. Okay, divided by five, the average is three. All right, they gave you a pretty basic set of data. You kind of knew what was going to happen. All right, what is the median? Now, to find the median, we're going to take the numbers and put them in order. So I'm going to rearrange them, and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and if I have an odd number of numbers, it's the number in the middle. middle. So in this case, the median is the three here in the middle. All right, so the median is also three. This will not happen all the time. All right, um, we'll talk more about when the number of numbers gets bigger, how to find the median. It's, it can be a little tricky uh, if you're not sure what the middle number is. Right now, I would like you to find the mean of B and the median of B. So see if you can do both of those. Jeez, oh, you got shot. All right. How are we coming on this? Good, good. Mike won't see it. That's not the. Okay. So, if I take my numbers, find my mean, 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 25, come on, divide by 5, I get 35 over 5 is 7. All right, median of B, I'm going to put them in order. One, two, three, four, thirty-five. What is the median of B? There's a middle number. So three. Okay. For this data set, what do you think is the better piece of measure of central tendency? The median or the mean? Which one's the better, like true representative? The median is three, the mean is seven. 
I would probably say the median, since most of those numbers are right around three. If you look at the average, the average is seven. How many of the numbers are, are below seven in this case? Four out of five are below seven. So it's not really a measure of what's in the middle, right? What would we call in this data? What do we call the number like 25? We, go? we got one, two, three, four, and 25 over there. It's the greatest value, but, what, but it's compared to the other data, it's kind of outlier. Outlier. Okay, it's what we would call an outlier. So now to fill in this blank on this next one, I'm going to read this. Now there's going to be a blank here. And then I'm going to read the second question. The answer to that blank is in the second, second line. Okay? A measure of data that is not easily influenced by extreme observations or outliers is a blank measure, which means the measure of center would be a resistant measure. Okay? What word should I put in that missing blank? It's in the second sentence. Resistant. Resistant. Okay? Okay, which of the two numbers in B is resistant to an outlier right now? Not affected by the outlier much. The mean of the median. Which one is not affected by that outlier of 25? The median is not affected. It still stayed at 3 like the other one did. Okay. That's why I say sometimes a lot of people say median is a little bit better to use because it's it doesn't get skewed by an outlier like 25. So to answer this question, we would say the median is more of a resistant measure that won't be affected. All right. I'm going to do one more thing here um, before we go on. Let me erase this. I'm going to scroll up a little bit. All right. So in here, I'm just going to give you some numbers. And I want you to find the median. This time it's not going to be an odd number. It's going to be an even number of numbers. Okay. Um, so let's go 3, 8, 2, 11. Go uh, 14 and 16. Don't worry about the average right now. Just worry about finding me. You guys go ahead and do that. If you get stuck, it's not a big deal. We're going to go over in a second. So what's the problem here? We have six numbers. Is there a middle number stuck in the middle? No. So we're gonna we're gonna reorder them. I'm gonna go two, three, eight, eleven, fourteen, sixteen. Okay. With an even number of numbers, I go to the middle right here. And now, what do I do with eight and eleven? Add them divided by two, you average them. Good job, guys. Eight plus 11 divided by two. 19 divided by two. 9.5 is the median. Pretty good there. All right. Now, when I gave you five numbers, in your head you guys go, okay, number three is the middle one. 
What if I give you 27 numbers? Okay. Let's say I give you 27 numbers. Okay. To find the middle number of that, here's a simple thing you can do. Divide it by 2. 27 divided by 2. It's 13.5. And then you're going to go up by half a number. So our median number is going to be the 14th number. So it'll be 1 through 13, it'll be the 14th number, and then there'll be 13 numbers after it that'll add up to 27. Does that make sense? If it's just five, oh yeah, in my head I can, okay, three is the middle one. But if I get 27 numbers, just divide by two and go up by a half number and you got the one stuck in the middle. So instead of 13, then you want to 13.5? No, I'm not saying that the number's 13.5, it's whatever the 14th number is. Like you go up by 0.5 or? Yes, you just go up by 0. 0.5. So if I gave you, uh, if I had 53 numbers, if I had 53 numbers, I would divide by 2. I would get 26.5. So my median number would be 20, 27th. All right. So like I said, if I had 27 numbers listed, I'd go 1 through 13. The 14th would be the middle. And then 15 through 27 is 13 more numbers. So the 14th is the one in the middle. Does that make sense? All right. Clear this off and then we'll get moving. go now we have a dot plot tomorrow we're gonna to do this stem plot today we have a dot plot so this is saying these are the average daily high temperatures for this city in Colorado in the month of April so April has 30 days so how many dots do you think are on this graph 30 okay so you're going to do average and things like that 30 would be your number for that okay so they're saying one day the high temperature was six degrees Celsius. Okay. Uh, there were five days where 10 degrees was the high temperature Celsius. We understand how the graph is made? Okay. Uh, four days, the high temperature was 12. Okay. How many days? It's asking, it's going to ask you various questions. How many days have a temperature of at least 16 degrees? Okay. So what are you doing? You're going to take anything that's 16 or higher. What do you think your answer for this is going to be? Everybody gets seven days. Okay, I'll lose the earbuds, please. Okay, so we're going to want to make sure we label this. So there were seven days that were 16 or high. Just to make sure everybody knows what I'm talking about. So right here, 16. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days were 16 or higher. Are you good? Okay. How many days are represented in the table? We already did that. April has how many days? 30. 30 days. Okay. What is the mode? Okay. 10 degrees. So on this one, they ask you the mode. You're looking for the dots with the, the most. So our answer for this would be 10 days. And then how would you answer? How do you know? How do you know it's 10 days? It has the most dots. Jason, can you lose your button, please? Thank you. Okay, what is the range? Okay, I'll give you 30 seconds. Think about that. I think you talked about a little bit, but you might have forgot. Shoot, I screwed up. Uh, for part C, it's not 10 degrees or 10 days. What is it? 10 degrees. 10 degrees. Holy cow. 10 degrees Celsius. The temperature. All right. What is the range? So what do we say we're doing on this? We're taking the biggest one, subtracting the 
Smallest, smallest one. one. So what's the, the day with the highest temperature? 19 minus 6. 13 degrees Celsius is the range in temperatures. All right. See if you can find the median. Okay. See if you can find the median. I'm going to give you guys 30 seconds on that as well. I was supposed to get a pass at like 10.15, but I didn't get one on my phone either. Let me double check something quick. <laughs> school or something? Yeah. Okay, hold on a sec. Uh, All right, why don't you head, just head to the office and see if All right. see what's going on or do what you got to do. Okay. Yep. All right. So what is the median number here? We want to take a guess at this. I think it's 11. So here's how we're going to do it. Okay. How many days are there? 30 days. There's 30 days on here, 30 dots. What, what two numbers are stuck in the middle if we have a given number of numbers? If I take 30 and divide it by 2, I'm going to get 15. So I need 15 before and 15 after. So which two numbers in the middle? The 15th and the 16th. So we got 1 to 15, and then 16 to 30. Okay. So here's how I find it. I start at 6, and I start counting dots till I get to 15 and 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So in this problem, 15 and 16 are the same number. That makes sense? Okay. So what number is that? 11. 11 degrees. Celsius. Now, I want to erase this quick. Let's say that didn't happen. Let's say as I'm counting here, that I'm going through here, and this is my 15th, and this is my 16th. So 15th is that one, 16th is that one. Okay, add them together, divide by two. They're right next to each other, 11, 12, halfway between them is 11.5. But we didn't have that in this case. So everybody good there? All right. Now, I'm going to... How to do the median. You don't have to calculate it this time. You're going to do it in your homework. But here's how you would set it up. Okay? I'm going to turn my camera to the whiteboard here. And if I forget to turn it back to the whiteboard, people at home, please let me know. Okay? So, how many sixes do I have? One. Yeah, one six. But I'm going to show you two different ways you would do this. Okay, there's 30 numbers in April we set. How many sevens do I have? Two. Seven plus seven. Okay, how many eights? Two. Two. Eight plus eight. How many nines? Three. Three. How many tens? Five. Five of them. All right. You get the idea, you keep going. Okay. This is how you would set it up, and then you'd add them all up and divide by 30. Here's another option for you. Okay? Here's the other option. Okay? This is the way I would do it. How many sixes are there? One. Just one. How many sevens? Two. Two, two times seven. 
plus how many eights? Two times eight plus three times nine plus there's five tens, so we do five to <clears throat> five times ten. And it's maybe a little less writing and so I have to write out all 30 numbers. Get the idea. Either way, it's going to work out the same way. So you do your pen dots, you do all your multiplying, and then you add them all up. Okay. Everybody good right now on this? I'm going to erase this. Can I erase this? Is everybody good? Okay, we're going to do one more set of data. I'm going to let you guys do this whole thing on your own, and we'll check your answers here. Oh, I'm going to help. I'm sorry. I'm going to help you make a new frequency or a stop plot. Okay, we had the last time it was made for us. Okay. Okay, so this time we're going to make the dot plot. What's the lowest number we have? Three goes all the way up to ten. I'm going to start out with. So now I'm going to go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I might start out. There's more than one way to do this. Some people just, they start on the left, and every time they get a number, okay, nine, they put a dot. Okay, then I got two sixes, and I put two dots. I just kind of go across the table. You see what I'm doing there? And then they go, okay, I seven, I got a dot. Uh, I got another six. That's one way to do it. I don't care which way you do it. The other option is start out with three. How many threes do I have? I got one three. Uh, how many fives do I have? I have no fours. I have one five. All right. How many sixes do I have? One, two, three, four, five sixes. Hey, how many sevens do I have? One, two, three, four sevens. All right, how many eights? One, two, three, four. All right, how many nines? One, two, three, four. How many tens? And two. All right, so right now I'd like you to answer all these questions.
All right, how are we coming on this? Do we need more minute? I see someone still writing. One more time. All right. Everybody good? Maybe, yeah. All right. What is the mode? What a number appears most often? Six hours. Six, and, and you know, we were talking degrees before. Now we're going to level with hours. Six hours. Okay, and why is that? It's got the most dots. It's got the most dots. Uh, what happened if nine had one more dot? It'd be six and nine. It'd be six and nine. Good job. What is the range? So most hours take away least hours. 10 minus three is seven. 10 minus three is seven hours. So 10 take away three, boom. All right, how many numbers did you guys have? 21. 21 numbers. So what number is the middle number? The 11. So once again, this is that case we we're talking about. I have 21 numbers. I divide by two. I get 10.5. So what number is the, the middle one? The 11th, half a number up. So I just started counting dots on the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So what number is that? Seven hours. Okay, I'm going to do the mean how I would do it. Once again, you can list out 3 plus 5 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 9 plus 9 and add them all up. Or you could group it like I'm doing in this problem here. Okay. I'm going to do it this way as opposed to this way. I think it's easier, but it's up to you. Okay, so we said we had 21 numbers, so that's going to be our divider. Okay, I have one, three, one, five. How many sixes? I have five sixes. How many sevens? Four. Four. How many eights? Four eights. Four eights. Four nines. And two tens. 
Okay, that way I'm not writing out 21 numbers across my board. Oh, sorry, I'm going to turn the camera for those of you at home. Okay. <clears throat> so three and five, if you want to add them now, you can, you can make it eight, or I can just go three plus five. Five times six, 30. Four times seven is 28. Four times eight is 32. 36 and 20, okay? You can put all those in your calculator. You can add them one by one. I like to do something. I'm gonna just do it now. If you want to watch, you can. You don't have to do it my way. Uh, three plus five is eight plus 30 is 38. So that's just adding up the first two numbers. 28 and 32, add up to 60. 36 and 20 is 56. All right, now I'm just going to add all these three together. Okay, uh, 38 and 60 is 98. 98 plus 56, uh, 154. Divided by 21. 7.3. We get 7.3 repeating. Okay, that's the average. Okay, the pen up off your desk, please. Thanks, buddy. Okay, that's the average. Okay, slide this up. Uh, what is the shape and the outliers? Okay, um, if I did my shape on this, okay, you could call this on the test. I'd probably let you use either skews right or I let you use normal on this because it's not skewed right much. Um, is there an outlier in this one? Six outliers. Mm, six is an outlier because it's kind of in the middle. Outliers are ones that are way out from the edge. I don't think I would even say three. You could. I don't think I would mark it wrong, but I don't think I would use it. The example problem, the one we did earlier, when we had one, two, three, four, and 25, that's an outlier. Okay. This one's not bad. I would, like I said, I wouldn't mark off if you wrote down three, but I think I would leave three out. Okay. All right, guys, go ahead, work on that assignment. Do tomorrow. Well, yes, Alex? I would either write either normal distribution or right. Either one on this one I would take. Whichever one you want, buddy, you let me know. Um, I do both. Well, yeah, but not today. You only got half an hour. I do well, then. 
Are you going to finish it? Well, if like, I don't. I just then whatever you don't get done, I'm going to mark wrong. Oh, okay. So if you'd prefer, maybe wait till tomorrow and I'd start a class. Say, hey, Mr. Glenn, I want to take that test. Oh, okay. and I'll give it to you. And that way, I, we know you finished. Oh, That's just... like a plan? All right.
Thank you.